dear civil engineers uh, you know that uh, we previously have completed our uh, two lessons so in this lesson i am just going to modify our different section as per our plan so if i just go here and i have told you to download our previous default model where already i have predefined everything so that we can reduce our time very shortly and uh, we can do our work as much as possible okay so here we are using three types of column in corner side 12 into 12 size column and here in every uh, side of our building here we are using 12 into here uh, 12 into 16 16 inch column and in center there are four columns where we are using 12 into 20 inch column okay so i will just modify that now from edeps here as i uh, already have predefined that you know already have to defend so here i'll just go c1 12 into 12 this is already defined now uh, here 12 into 18 i'll just modify that i'll just go here for modify and i'll give it uh, c2 and here 12 into 16 okay so uh, 12 into 16 and mayor metals properties that is uh, 20 m20 grade and here 16 and everything is okay and if you want to just over check okay just go here for reinforcement just see everything is available here so i'm using 60 grade reinforcement here and using clear cover 1.5 1.5 so here i'll use two types of columns okay i will use two types of column where uh, or some column will be below or grade beam where our clear cover will be more than our above okay so here i'll close that i'll ok it and after that for c3 i'll just again modify that and for c3 here c3 that will be uh, 12 into 12 into 20 right 12 into 20 and everything is okay just here i'll change width will be 12 and our depth will be 20 okay so 12 into 12 uh, 20 that is okay now again if i just come here everything is okay so okay and okay now what i'll do actually here c1 c2 and c3 we have taken three columns okay so now i need more three column section what will be below grade beam because uh, below grade beam we use uh, 1.5 inch extent offer i mean extended size of our column right that's why i will do it so now what i'll just do it uh here c1 i'll take a copy of it okay uh, add a copy of that property then what will be c c1 dot below grade beam right gb that means below grade beam or gb below grade beam okay bgb like that i'm just giving that name randomly and here what will be that is 12 into 12 that means uh, one if we extend 1.5 into 1.5 if decide then what will be uh, 12 here that will be actually here uh, 15 into 15 into 15 okay so 15 into 15 size for our column one and i'll just take a copy of it here what about the size of it that will be 15 into 15 clear and for clear cover if i just go here for clear cover that will be 3 clear cover will be 3 just that is the difference actually below grid beam or clear cover will be 3 inch so i just click ok and here 15 into 15 that is ok then ok now i'll just take copy of it again and for c2 we'll consider 12 into 16 that is 12 into 16 now uh, it will be 15 into 19 clear so i'll take add a copy of it and i'll just paste it here then uh, 15 into 19 16 plus 3 19 and that will be c2 c2 and 15 into 19 1 9 15 into 19 and if i just go here that is 3 inch that is okay then okay then okay 
just see and again for c3 okay for c3 again i'll just take copy of it and what of that c3 that is 12 into 20 so we'll extend three in every set 12 into 23 23 like that and that will be c3 c3 clear so here 23 and here 15 that is okay so it's done just see we have uh, taken uh, same column section c on c on but that will be above our grade beam and that will be below our grade beam we will define that perfectly so that uh, when we will go for our grade beam design or when we will go for our uh, uh, column design below grade beam then it will give us the exact reinforcement or exact reinforcement percent so it's done now when it's done now we'll go for our floor beam so for floor beam we can consider 10 into 15 or we can consider 10 into 18 so how consider 10 into 18 at, a, at this time so here 10 into 18 everything is okay here i have defined our uh, materials properties and if i go for reinforcement just see here i have provided 2.5 actually what is 2.5 why 2.5 here it's telling us poverty longitudinal river group centroid clear so i mean that clear cover will be that phase of our beam to center of our the site or main reinforcement clear that's a 2.5 our clear cover will be 1.5 and if we consider that our the confinement bar or our uh, tie bar or our history up and the dia of our main bar the total value of the one inch uh, if we consider that and uh, that's why i have taken 2.5 but if you think that or if you can calculate it perfectly or exactly then it is okay then okay then okay 10 into 18 for our floor beam and if we need we'll uh, extend that in future 10 into 12 uh, 20, uh, 20 10 into 24 12 into like that floor beam 12 into 20 like that and here for our grid beam okay for our grid beam 12 into 15 i'll consider or 12 into 18 if we need we'll consider okay and here is stranger beam what is the stranger beam actually a stranger beam the meaning of a stranger beam is that um if we provide some beam below our staircase landing clear this beam is known as a stranger beam so this is okay then click okay and after that i'll go for section or slab section that is also okay we have predefined that and for our wall for our uh, wall that is 10 inch wall we have already predefined 10 inch wall then okay then okay and again if we just go here for mass source already we have defined our mass source we have defined everything and pedal option i will use that pedal option from here okay i will use that option or that option after completing our model to find i mean to define our earthquake value okay so when it's done after that in the load case we have uh, define all of our load case but just close it so here from our load pattern just see here i have predefined every load pattern just i will simply i'll modify that uh, our letter load earthquake load or wind load if we need actually otherwise no need then okay and after that here for load combination already i have defined all of our load combination clear so we have done everything actually sorry uh we have done everything now what we'll do uh, when everything is okay now we we'll, uh, uh define our grid system okay so to do that right click add or modify grids then here grid one and modify or show grid system so from here display grid data as a spacing okay so this is the option and after that we'll define our value as per our data so in x direction what will be 11 feet and 6 inch then 12 feet 10 inch and 11 feet 6 inch clear so uh, i'll just go for a model 11 feet 6 inch so here uh, here 11 feet and 6 inch then enter okay so 11 feet 6 inch that means 11.5 feet clear then here 
12 feet 10 inch 12 feet here 12 feet and 10 inch enter and again here 11.5 feet clear and the another one will be zero clear so what is the meaning of that the distance from a to b is 11.5 feet the distance from b to c is 12.833 feet and the distance from c to d is 11.5 right now we'll define for our uh, grid system y and if we if you need you can add the grid system by clicking here add and after that here if we just see here just see 11 feet 11 inch 11 feet 11 inch and 13 feet 10 inch and here 11 feet 5 inch clear so uh, here also you have to define 1 2 3 4 4 grid clear so to define that 4 grid 11 feet 10 then 13 11 11 13 10 and here 11 5 so for that here 11 feet and 11 inch enter another walls another one is what is that 13 feet and 10 inch okay so here 13 feet and 10 inch enter and another is 11 feet and 5 inch clear 11 feet and 5 inch so when everything is okay if you need to change the bubble size then you can change that if we just provide a 30 for a bubble size so okay and uh, everything is okay here after that i'll click okay and i'll click refresh just see it's a changed now when it's done after that i'll just go here or base i'll just change that so what i'll do actually i'll go modify or show first of all okay now sorry sorry so here uh, that will be base then uh, that will be basement level bml basement level so its height will be six feet and this that will be our ground floor level okay gfl ground floor level and that will be 10 feet clear just see so six feet this is our basement level and from basement to our ground floor level that will be 10 feet and after that i'll just refresh it i'll click ok and finally i'll add here quick add a story i'll just add a story one then a story one two three four and rolf clear and terrace then i'll go from modify then from here study 1 10 10 10 study 1 2 3 4 5 and that will be our row this is the row level and this is terrace clear and terrace will be 8 feet just see this is the total height of our building this is total height of our building and uh, i'll not take any master story okay i will not take any master history if you need that you can do that and um, in your previous all of our lecture i have shown you that how uh, consider that and how we'll go for that master level or master story system how we'll use that so it's done after that i'll click refresh and click ok and again click refresh and click ok okay so everything is okay right our uh, story level or everything is again now what we'll do actually you know next lecture okay you know next lecture i'll go for our further text 
will draw our model will uh, create our different types of section of our columns right and where uh, we'll use ECT column also and we'll divide it we'll design everything so thank you thank you very much stay stay connected till next video and if you think that our channel is helpful for you then you can support us by joining as a member of our channel so thank you thank you very much